I just discovered how to get 13 gigabytes of Forgotten Adventures assets into Foundry. What does this mean exactly? Let me show you. Let's say this family wants to celebrate Christmas. Or maybe a couple of rude adventurers have come into their living room and want to set up a camp. Or what if a meteor suddenly decides to crash through the ceiling? Damn it, Sephiroth. With 13 whole gigabytes of assets, the possibilities are endless. And today I'm going to show you how all of this is possible using Molinet for free. Remember to like and subscribe as always if you like this sort of content. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Forgotten Adventures website, link in the description below, and then click on Map Making Assets, where it will allow you to download 13 whole gigabytes of Forgotten Assets map making packs for free. So try doing that right now, and it might take a little while to download. Once you have it downloaded, open the WinRAR file. Oh. Did you pay for WinRAR? All right, now you have to unpack it into your Foundry data folder. And yes, it's gonna take a while. This is a 10 times speed. The unpacking bit might vary based on the hosting service you're using, like Forge or Molten Hosting. You might have to upload it onto their server. The next thing you need to do is install Molinet. I'm gonna go ahead and install Molinet Core and Molinet Tiles. Once you have Molinet Core and Tiles installed, make sure you enable it in your world. Now you need to go to the left side where the hammer icon is and click on Molinet Tiles files and tokens. Go to the cogwheel on the bottom and select configure sources. When this window pops up, you need to go to the bottom left and click on pick folder and then click on the forgotten assets map making pack and select that. I would then select tiles and click on auto and then just click on add source. Now what you need to hit is the button index assets on the bottom left there and it's going to take a second to index all your assets this part might be a little fast or slow depending on your hosting service and or computer it's going to take a few seconds or minutes to index all these assets and now you'll be able to see all creators at the top there where you can now select any asset from the forgotten adventures asset pack at your convenience everything in that 13 gigabyte folder will be able to be perused using molinet and dragged and dropped onto the board let me show you how if you thought setting up all of this was a bit of a hassle, why not try Molinet's paid cloud service? Today's sponsor Molinet has an amazing cloud hosting service where almost all your favorite creators have Patreon tiers that support it. That's right. Some of the biggest creators in the TTRPG scene like Bailiwiki, Su and Peku, Tom Cardos. Molinet supports 94 creators. You can start accessing all of this at only two dollars a month by subscribing to molinet you already get access to 1500 scenes and over 9000 images provided as free content by creators but the coolest part is when you start subbing to other creators which you probably already have you start getting access to their assets in the Molinet cloud. Check the link in my description below for more details. And thank you so much, Molinet, for sponsoring this video. And no, sadly, Forgotten Adventures is not a Molinet. So you should probably talk to Forgotten Adventures, guys. If all of us ask for it, maybe they'll jump on Molinet cloud. I think it would certainly save us the hassle of having to index 13 gigabytes. And they'd probably get more Patreon subscribers due to the fact that that people are subbing just for Molinet. So I was gonna show you how to use Molinet for your scenes and we're gonna do that right about now. Go to Tiles Tokens for the Forgotten Assets and yeah, sure, let's say there's a grave site around here, why not? Now, if you just drag and drop it, it's gonna be huge. So I recommend you go to the bottom here and change that to a larger amount. There we go, 400 should do it. It depends on your map size as well. And remember to press Shift to drag it in between tiles that drag the tile in between tiles you can also when you're expanding this you can expand it like this but if you want to keep the ratio press alt and it'll expand it based on its aspect ratio you can always search something here just make sure you go to all creators at the top and then just you can just type in bed find all the beds it's just view type up here to tiles view if you prefer that for example add a body oh no it's a dead body spoopy uh, so you can choose to drop it as a token if you wish it'll give you a couple of options here you use an actor that exists or create a new actor and this will be a new token if you thought this video was useful check out this video on how to make random commoner tokens have a good day and like and subscribe bye